we go. All right. Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to another impactful and amazing episode of the True Health Forever podcast, where we try to live our best life through the lens of holistic health. My name is Devon Travell, creator of the Black Wall Street, the board game. And as usual, it is my honor. It is my privilege. It is my blessing in life to also have the beautiful, the amazing, the dancing queen, young and teen only. She's way older than 17. <laughs> Not way older, but you know, she's older than 17. It's legal. Don't trip. And I put a, and I put a ring on it. But um, yeah, it, introduce yourself, queen. What is up, party people? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> My name is Sinclair, aka uh -huh. B. B Hope Hope nerd. And uh, yeah, we're here to bring you some good vibes, some some really visionary talk. Ooh, talk good. that, talk that. So again, we're coming into a, a new kind of format of the podcast. Hope y'all are appreciating. It. Hope y'all are enjoying it. Please make sure you you reach out. And let us know what the energy is feeling like. Um, but before we get into to visionary stuff and the importance of having a vision. How are you doing, Queen? Let's do, do some check-ins. Like there's, you know, some violent stuff, interesting stuff happening right now and Definitely want to do a check in with you and check in with the the rest of the folks listening and just how how you feeling. I am worried. Okay. But like we we kind of had a conversation yesterday about like mm -hmm. what similar to it's basically a check in and I think that I'm I'm worried for the response mm -hmm. that people are going to take um, as a as a reaction to all of these things happening. Right. So not only do we have COVID-19 happening, people have been boxed in for months not being able to mm -hmm. do things, express, interact with other people, but now we have the police brutality yet again popping up mm -hmm. um, with multiple individuals, um, and I, I am just, I'm a little bit worried, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more than a little bit, I'm worried that people are, are not in the mindset to handle this type of situation right now. Right now, because they're already in stress, their mental health is already unstable, yes. so then you add in all these other additional stresses and now things begin to compound yeah. on each other. And there has to be a release. Yes. There has to be some type of release, whether we're hoping it's gonna be a healthy release, but there's also the unhealthy release as well. So yeah, it's definitely worrying times you know true up forever we are holistic so we do want to make sure we're still talking about these type of issues social justice issues issues that affect mental health and disproportionately people of color because it is affecting our health and it's right. important to talk about it because it's a release for us as ah, creators as melanated folks ourselves and yeah hoping y'all are doing okay out there hoping this message finds you safe and hope you're doing Oh, oh yeah, yes, Queen. She she gave me that that look. She got give me that that hand on the shoulder. How are you doing? I am good today. I think yesterday and the day before that, my energies were just low. Yeah. Like one, I had a, a, a bunch of Zoom meetings, a bunch of Zoom calls, so that digital fatigue was hitting me. But then, in addition to working. I also had like the, the feed of social media, seeing all the threads, getting the text messages. And I try to remove myself from news because it was already kind of causing me anxiety and being unhealthy for me. So I've been not watching news for a while now. So to get the onslaught of a whole bunch of mm -hmm. news clips and articles and people saying, watch this video, see what's going on, that definitely impacted my frequencies. Um, but today has been a much better day. Uh, Tried to, you know, sidestep and avoid the stuff, even yeah. though I saw that, you know, the dude that uh, killed George Floyd got manslaughter and third degree murder. So he's gonna get like seven years maybe in jail. Uh, so that was interesting and disheartening. But nonetheless, today has been a holistically good, positive day. Playback Wall Street Academy starts this weekend. You've been selling uh, intermittent fasting plans to help folks lose weight during this time. So like, there's definitely still positive things that we're receiving and positive things that we are giving as well. 
Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up. All right, so definitely important to talk about that. But the main point of this podcast episode is to talk about your vision for the future. If you're looking around today and you're not liking what you're seeing, or if you're wanting to just improve upon what you're seeing today, maybe it's cool, maybe it's all right for you, but you're like, man, there's this, there's a bigger vision for my future, there's a bigger vision for me and my queen, me and my king, whoever you're, you're rocking with, just your friends and your peers. So we wanna talk about just the importance of having your own personal vision. And then we also wanna dive a little bit into the vision of True Health Forever, because you know there's not a lot of, uh, we haven't done too many recordings about like what we're really trying to do, what we're really trying to build. We've had a few live seminars that talk about it, but I think something like on a podcast, something that we can listen to back, you know, tomorrow, years from now, Mm -hmm. we can watch years from now, I think will be motivation not only for us, but hopefully for other folks out there to have big and audacious dreams. Yep. And I don't know why we haven't talked about this. You would have thought that we would have Mm. already, but I think, like you said, like we've, there's been multiple um, like different events or live streams or whatever we have talked about. So I feel like it feels like we talk about yeah. it often, but probably not to the main audience. <laughs> right, the main, the main folks, the, our YouTube folks, our Spotify podcast folks, our IG family, like that information hasn't been in a consinct spot. Mm-hmm. Um, I think also like two years ago when we were living in PH, we did like the 2020 goals and kind of vision, mm-hmm. but we did them independently because that was pre-marriage. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's cool to now come come back. We're a kingdom now, you know, unified, tied the knot. So now to come back and do another semi-vision statement or vision video as a unified front, true health forever, declare, uh, I think it's cool. Yeah. All right. So true health forever. Um, do you want to talk about how we first started True Health Forever? Sure. You, know, you, you, did, you did a slight pause. Are you sure? Do you, want to go, <laughs> do you want to go a different direction? We can go a different direction. I was just going to ask, do you want to talk about True Health Forever first? Or do you want to talk about the importance of my vision in general first? Oh, okay. You smart. You smart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Stroke that beard. I see you. I see you. <laughs> she has no beard, y'all. I just want to point I that sh- out there. I just like to do that. There, there, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's okay. all good. That's all good. We married. It's good. So the importance of a vision. So again, you want to be able to like manifest what you really want. I know sometimes that's a uh, a theoretical word. Like, mm-hmm. what, what does that even mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, hopefully, I'm not going to talk a whole bunch of, of theory in here. I'll do something that's also applicable and that I've seen in real life. But you can only expect from the universe, expect from other people, expect from yourself the energy that you're also putting out into the universe. Right. So if you're never expecting to make, you know, X amount of dollars, if you're never expecting to make the the love of your life, if you're never expecting your podcast to take off or you to start a fashion brand, like if you're not expecting those things and putting that energy into the world, then your actions are gonna be the same. Right. So um, perfect example. <coughs> vision, you feel me? It's all about <laughs> vision, confidence, you heard me, you know, manifest. So when I first met this young lady, you know, even before I met her, I just looked at her and I was like, ooh, yeah, I I feel the vibes. I feel the frequencies. I can see the vision for our future. Literally saw the vision. I told my friends, I was like, yep, that's the one right there. None none of y'all, no, y'all cannot talk to her. I, 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 mm -mm, that's mine. I'm I'm going to talk to someone to see, like, what was that conversation like? You you could talk to Jago, talk to Daniel, (laughs) like, they they, they got it, vouch for me. But so that was it. And there was definitely some some barriers along the way. It was a long road to the marriage. Like we met in 2011, didn't get married in 2019, which isn't, you know, a huge gap. Some people have a larger gap. But, you know, there was definitely some in-betweens in there. So the fact that I always had that vision, always knew this was my end goal, mm-hmm. my actions were, were acting accordingly. And then, you know, eight years later, pow, got it right there. Um, another example, and then Queen, if you want to give an example, you know, do your thing. I, I try to give you enough buffer time to freestyle. Thanks. You, yeah, I got you. So <laughs> another example is, um, oh my gosh, do you remember talking in TJ videos? Oh Lord, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so talking in TJ videos, I used to do those in 2016, 2017. 
every day right after work, I would go into my car and then just do a sort of reflection video. Ask myself a question. And you know, these were terrible, <laughs> atrocious videos. Are they so still on YouTube? They're still on YouTube. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed. Talking to TJ, <laughs> go to TH4 TV or search True All Forever. Uh, yeah, that, that playlist pop up. But they're terrible quality in the sense that they were usually at night, so you can barely see me because, you know, I'm melanated and dark, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Uh, you thank nice you. Chocolate. Thank you. Oh, appreciate that. The, um, let's see, the, the audio quality was meh. You know, I was rambling a lot, as I tend to do on this podcast as well. So it was a very meh type of stuff. But I rewatched a video the other day and I was talking about investing in real estate. Hmm. I was talking about being an entrepreneur. I was talking about, you know, being married one day and then this was three years ago. So to watch myself saying that and then to know what I have achieved now is like that young brother right there had a vision. Mm -hmm. That young brother had vision. And I am a direct um, result of my past visions, mm -hmm. which is right now, that, that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. The fact that you today are a direct result of your past visions from yesterday and yesteryears. So it's crucial if you want to be something different, you want to grow a bit bigger, you want to be able to help more people, whatever it is, you need to start that seed today. Right. Start watering it, start putting your, your dirt onto it, your soil. I, I'm terrible at growing plants, so I have no idea what goes into <laughs> it. I'm just assuming you need water and dirt. But, you know, if you put those things onto it, years from now, you will be able to look back and really thank the past self for your vision and your efforts. Mm -hmm. um, so, hopefully that was some nuggets in there for y'all to, you know, pick up and drop all that good stuff. And you know, you talked, I know you did a video on Instagram, but you talked about the check earlier. Oh, yes. So, <laughs> manifest. I've, I'm telling you, like, I've leaned into manifestation. <laughs> so much. Fully. And things just... <laughs> Things just happen. They just happen. And it's like, how did this happen? Like, uh, all right, so I'm not going to give y'all money numbers, even though that might make this even more real for you. But this morning, I was listening to the Secret to Success podcast, which we went to their 1% Club. Shout out to E.T., Carl, C.J., Jamal King, Tiff, all the whole squad. So we were listening to that uh, podcast this morning. And E.T. was going in on how, you know, I was doing a sermon and I was saying that everyone in here is going to receive a check in the mail. And I was listening to the podcast, but I was like, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> he was like, everyone here is going to receive a check in the mail. Money and blessings are coming your way. And I was like, Queen, E.T. says, I'm going to get a check in the mail. E.T. says, there's going to be money in the mailbox. So I go downstairs and I'm singing on the way down, money in the mailbox. Hey, I got money in the mailbox. Hey, so I'm seeing it all the way down. I open the mailbox. You know, I, I see I take a quick glimpse, but then I go upstairs. I uh, put the mail down, wait for the queen to come out. And then I start opening stuff. And at first I'm like, oh man, there's nothing. It's just bills. Yeah, you said, this is a bill. I was like, well, that's, yeah. that's the opposite of what right. I was like, come on, E.T., what happened, bro? <laughs> what happened? But then I open what I think is a bill and there's a check. Right there with my name on it. I'm just like, hey, I got money in the mailbox. Hey, I got money in the mailbox. So, again, I mean, was that check always there? Possibly. But the fact that on the way down, I was the whole time manifesting and thinking and hoping and visioning, like literally visioning the check in the mail the entire time down there. And it was a check that I was not expecting in the slightest. And boom, I just got a little bit, little bit of money, a little bit of something, something. The, the ironic thing is that you were expecting a check, right? but that's not the one you got. It's not the check. I was expecting a check, which is still late. I need my money whenever y'all get around to it. I ain't gonna say what your name is. Money, money. Hello. But yeah, the fact that I was expecting one check, which should still be coming, hello, <laughs> and I got a different check, it was like, wow, that's dope. The yeah. power of manifestation so et you know every time you have a podcast episode my brother my king if you can just keep on saying yeah. <laughs> that i got a check coming i would appreciate that so i can continue to manifest all right then oh, all right <laughs> what you got queen hit us, hit us with it um i think for me the most recent example would be the intermittent fasting plan is i created this three years ago? Oh, I know yes. he gets frustrated every time. Yeah. So I actually created this plan like three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, put a lot of work into it. Yeah, it did. took forever. Um, but 
I created the plan based off of what I was doing to be successful to lose weight. Um, we, I did exercise videos. We went and shot them at the beach. We shot them out. It was outside. a whole thing. It was a whole thing. So formatting the thing, formatting the calendar, getting the links into the calendar. Um, so it was a whole thing. And so I promoted it a little bit. Um, and then I finally launched it. I was like, oh, it's available. And I sold two. Honestly, I was juiced because I'm like, as soon as I, as soon as I saw my first one, I was like, ah, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> I made it, my mother. <laughs> and then I sold another one, and I was like, hey. Mm -hmm. And then that was it. Um, and I, I got a little bit of the like, imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I, only two people wanted this. Like, mm -hmm. this isn't. It's not a good. It must not be a good plan. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off. I, I actually asked him. I was like, take it off the website, because um, it's not, it's not, it's not doing anything up there. Right. Um, and then. Fast forward three years, here we are in this situation where we have to be home for months at a time. And and I was thinking, and I'm like, even just for myself, I was like, we should start fasting again. Like, I mean, we were kind of already started to do that naturally. Um, like, we should start fasting again. So we started fasting, and I was like, hmm, I created a plan for this. I'm like, I was, I was really thinking, like, man, I want to go buy like a workout program or something like that because I need something to do at home. And Y'all, like, <laughs> rewind. You were thinking about doing what? I was thinking about buying a workout plan that I could do at home. And then I remembered, I created one. Come on. So I went into the files, uh -huh. brought it up, made some revamps. Because, you know, I feel like the fact that I did feel not confident in it before did say something. So I was like, okay, let's ramp, revamp it a little bit. Let's, you know, update the formatting, update the fonts, whatever, so that you feel comfortable mm -hmm. putting it out to the world. Um, so then I thought this was the perfect time to put this out into the world because people are home, they can't go to the gym, sure. they need home workouts that they can do. And I made a whole plan that you can do at for home. This for this moment. She was prepared. And I didn't know. And that's the crazy like manifestation part of it. It's right. like, I did not know that this moment was coming, but when it came, I was like, oh, opportunity. This is when we need to release the plan. Mm. So I thought, well, let's release the plan. At the same time as doing, we think we were listening to we listened to podcasts and then also, oh, I know, it was a, um, a health coaching little email that I was, an uh, email thread that I was on and mm -hmm. um, they were talking about your email list is your business. Your business is your email list. Right. And so, and that's something we've, we've lived too, just with the Play Black Wall Street, you know, yeah. you get with people- failures. Yes, with you know, failures, I mean, we, absolutely. We failed and had to learn, we need to get more emails. Yes. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, they said your business is your email. So we were like, okay, well, how can we use this opportunity to build our email list? And the king, the business mogul over here, That's decided, yeah. why don't we offer them for free? You won't be getting profit, but you'll be building your email list so that all of these other products that may come afterwards, you can you not have an audience for that. Mm. And I was like, it's a great idea. That's what we did. Um, I kind of uh, remarketed the blog that I wrote before about intermittent fasting. Again, there wasn't a whole lot of new stuff I had to do. Mm. All of this stuff was already created, which was, what was perfect. Because I probably wouldn't have been finished with it until now if I had to start at the beginning of quarantine. <laughs> because I'm just that detailed yes. and perfectionist. It, that is your superpower. Yes. You know, it is yes. your superpower being analytical, but at times it can slow my queen down. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it, I'm can, saying. it can, absolutely. And I recognize that. And that's why it's good to have another person that is the opposite <laughs> he's a go and think later type of person so we balance each other out but um kind of the the, the point i want to drive here is that we, we came up with the plan we launched the plan when i tell y'all the goal that i set what was how much 10. okay and you sold i won't hold on i oh. want to i want to dig dig into that oh, oh please do i wanted to have 10 people <laughs> Download my plan and that's just because I was still tainted from the two people mm. that had that had downloaded it before um, And at this point we are probably at 110 downloads and Popping popping and so Pop. imagine, from all over the nation. Yes Like it's yes. not just people that like oh our homies and know right. it's like literally people from all over from Florida yep. Kansas like we don't even know them purchasing them or downloading the free plan. Yeah, so that's just been a really cool feeling, and I think that it just shows that one, whatever you manifest will happen if you put the actions behind it. It may not be when you want it, it may not be in the way that you want it, but it will happen. Yeah. But two, don't sell your show short. Like, manifest to the fullest. Like, what do you actually want to happen? And then you or your actions will match that. 
Um, so I, I only imagine if I had said 500 downloads, like how many I would have gotten because my actions would have matched that. But you know, I, I'm I'm so just blessed that I got 100 people, right. you know, over 100 people to download that. When again, before I was so I, in like an imposter mode because only two had got before. Mm -hmm. So it's one, make sure you seize the opportunities that come and have strategy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, but it, it, it's, it's that, that saying that like, what is the opportunities, luck and what's the? When opportunity meets perfect timing and hard preparation, work. Preparation, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like, you, you know the saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper preparation. And you know that. Whatever, that, whatever that saying is. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm living it right now that mm -hmm. like the fact that again I already had this created um, and just kind of analyzing the situation we're in right now and decided this is the perfect time for this product mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's just kind of crazy the way things manifest yep so uh, additional I got two more lessons in that story there's gonna be a lot of nuggets in this one mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully y'all appreciate this episode tell a friend about the podcast so one one extra lesson is it's not always about making money up front. Right. And I think some people get really focused on, oh, I need money right now, or I want to make money right now, or that's your measure of value and success. But if you get 104, 110 uh, emails that you just gave away for free, and if you know, you know, recipe books are coming, smoothie books are coming, like if you know you have so much more value to offer, giving that first hook, giving that first magnet, can explode your wealth and explode your audience way past if you would have sold it for 10, 15, 20 dollars right. to begin with. So, you know, try to figure out how can you use your superpower, and we kind of learned this in the 1% uh, conference as well. Mm -hmm. How can you use your superpower to start giving away free value to people as soon as possible? It's also kind of like your personal MVP, your personal minimum viable product. So with what you have right now, your talents, your skills, your technology, what is it that you can create to give people value for free? Mm -hmm. And then after you now have them in your audience, after they rocking with you, like, okay, the health nurse, she kind of cool. She mm -hmm. got these videos. She got this fasting plan. She married to a dude with a beard. I can rock with her. Uh, now they're able to support you fully when things do cost money. Right. Secondly, there's an experiment done on crickets, I believe, where they're in a, uh, a glass mason jar and the cover's on it and they're jumping, they're jumping, they're jumping. And because there's a cover, they can't get out of the jar. Once you remove the cover, those same crickets still cannot jump out of the container hmm. because their mind, they're trained before, I can't leave this container, I can't mm. leave this container, I'm jumping, I can't jump any higher than this. When in actuality, they could jump out of there. They could jump off three containers, but because they were trained mentally and their muscles were trained, they no longer can jump out of the container. And we're the same way, and that's why we want you to never sell your vision short, because your vision is training your mind, training your habits, training your actions to figure out what your full potential is. Another example of that. Hit it. As I heard on another podcast, it had to do with elephants. I don't know if you heard that one too. Um, that like how they kind of train elephants. Um, and these are, I mean, I don't know, like elephants in, in camps or whatever, or circus, I don't know what. Okay. But um, is that when they're young, they like, you know, put them on a rope or whatever that they can't break. Um, so like, I mean, obviously you can't just have a, I mean, they can't be running loose. So like, right. you know, when they're, when they're tied to a pole or whatever, they're when they do that when they're young so that, you know, they'll try, they'll try, they'll try, but they can't actually break that rope. They can't actually get free. Mm. So that when they grow up, Mm. They don't even try. Goodness. They don't even try. Wow. If they actually tried, they right. could easily so run elephant. away. Right, it's an know. elephant. But wow. they could easily run free. They could easily break free, but because they've been trained as a baby mm. that I cannot, they don't even try. Wow. So that, and th honestly, this stuff is all coming naturally. And I, I hope we're not too long on this podcast because <laughs> I got a meeting right after this. <laughs> and, but this is really good stuff. Um, that triggered in my head post-traumatic slave syndrome. Mm, deep. So, you know, you can look at that rope as the physical chains that were on some of our ancestors, the, uh, the whippings that we received if we tried to break free, like all those kind of punishments and uh, mental and physical lynchings that our ancestors went through and was passed on to our kids, passed on to our grandkids. Like, 
I feel like some of us are still living with that rope on us. Like, right. we don't think we can achieve that because this might happen. Right. Even looking at what happened to uh, Tulsa, the Black Wall Street, the fact that it was so successful, it was so vibrant, it had so much wealth, and then it was bombed, it's triggering for a lot of black folks. Like, oh, don't don't get wealth, don't get money because it's going to be taken away from you or your life's going to be taken away. So that, yeah, that's deep. That was a good example. And even, like, when... I feel like the fact that um, after you wrote Black Future Month, mm -hmm. your, your dad read it, and well, the, one of the first things he said would be mm -hmm. careful, right? Yeah. Um, and so I think even even things like that, like when you kind of speak up and start to have a voice, then you start to hear people start to say like, "Be mm -hmm. careful! You sure you should be saying that? You know, be careful." Um, and you know, it makes sense that they're they're just looking out for you, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it's a little bit of that. It's a little bit of that fear. It's a right. little bit of that. Yeah, quiet, right. We, we we know what happens when we when we try. Right. So don't you know, keep that quiet a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of Black Future Month, that was an excellent segue, my queen. Man, well done. I couldn't plan that even better if I tried. <laughs> um, so Black Future Month is a book that we wrote last year, have done some, some workshops, some lectures on it, and it's basically trying to craft an entire month outside of February where we train people and teach people how to create visions. There's seven principles based on West African and Dinkra symbols mm -hmm. that are supposed to lead the programming and the action behind it. Where can and you get this book? This sounds amazing. Oh, well, it's on it's on Amazon, so you can oh. find it on Amazon, or you can also go to playblackwallstreet.com and you can pre-order it straight from us as well. doesn't matter to us where you get it from. I just want you to get the book. You can also get it on, um, what's it called, Kindle, and then the audio book is pending. You know, Amazon be taking its time. <laughs> but um, just get, get the book, read it with your family, read it with yourself, and you know, I think it is a real powerful book had other people my dad professors tell me that it is a powerful piece of literature and you yeah. know that's good obviously you had people ask how they can follow you right i was giving a, a lecture at a college and then someone stood up was like how can we follow you and i was like whoa oh. i was like i will not i'm not prepared for any of that kind of stuff right now just you know read the book follow me on instagram uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know that just goes to show like people are hungry for vision mm -hmm. so if you're able to have that vision whether it's for your, you and your own family whether it's you as a personal person you're trying to attract your perfect partner whether it's you as a corporation you look at the success Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have been able to have um, Steve Jobs like these are all people with huge enormous vision that's why money success and people are attracted to them uh, so that was a quick little tangent, but definitely, you know, if you want to check out Black Future Month, a visionary plan to reshape our future, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Now, let's talk about Trail Forever Vision. All right, so there are a lot of nuggets in that first half. Hopefully, y'all picked those up, put a little, little, little deposit. So now we're going to walk through a little bit of our, our personal vision for the company that we are building, what we're hoping it's going to do for us and the community, and hopefully this is can be a somewhat of a framework for you also to build your business, whether it's a business or just a vision for yourself. So, True Health Forever. Started. TH4. 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 Started officially 2017 unofficially started just in college like me and Fred's including the Queen like our house was TH4 and people would come over as just like a kind of a safe space mm -hmm. you can come over get some great food if the wife is cooking sometimes I would throw down two we would have 2k we would have fresh hair five days where people can come get their hair cut. it was just a spot where folks can come from the community and just be cool be chilling be healthy um, after graduating we kind of transformed that same vibe and a little bit more emphasis and a little bit more intentionality on health. Mm -hmm. uh, and we started with physical health. So Queen, I don't know if you want to dive in a little bit more specifically, like why we got started with physical health and what we've been trying to grow with our physical health arm or pillar of True Health Forever. So um, kind of the initial thought on why health is that we both kind of took a look at the families and the communities we came from and realized that health was one of those things that we needed a little bit of help with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we both have um, a lot of health issues that run with our run within our families. Um, and you know, both of us, excuse me, um, both of us are seeing like family members, you know, lives cut short. Mm -hmm. um, and those are things that we didn't want for ourselves as well as our, our kids, our future right. families. Um, 
or our friends and family um, mm. as well. Um, so we kind of decided like, okay, well, we're going to, we're going to take a proactive approach on our health. And that's kind of how it started. And then after that, we even said, well, let's kind of rope in our friends and family too. Let's try to inspire other people to do the same thing so that we can try to change the trajectory for the African diaspora in, in general right. in this country. Um, but rewinding a little bit. Um, so kind of really the first physical step that we both took towards a better, better health was changing our diets. Um, so we both cut out meat and went pescatarian full time um, about in 2017, right? Yep. Yeah, in 2017, we both immediately noticed how much better we felt, how much more energy we had, and that really just catapulted everything else that came right. after. Well, all right, full yeah, pleasure. Yeah, now. yeah. Well, let's do this then. Right. Um, so you know, started working out more, started doing yoga, practicing meditation, started doing personal development, reading books like Think and Grow Rich, mm -hmm. um, A Black Choice. Um, reading other books, so really just focusing on the, the whole person mm -hmm. um, and how can I make, how can we make ourselves better people um, and you know create this create this little uh, this little haven for like our, our future family, future mm -hmm. little children that come up. And for me, I feel like it was interesting because I used to always make fun of you for being bougie mm -hmm. and make fun of other people for being bougie, like ordering lemon in their water, people who didn't eat meat and you know, ate, ate a whole bunch of vegetables, people who meditate. I was like, oh, y'all bougie, y'all bougie. And it's like to see myself now, it's like, mm -hmm. mm, I'm kind of bougie now. Past Devon would be like, you bougie. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like those bougie actions that I was looking at, like those are actually intentional health actions. Mm -hmm. Like those are what wealthy people do to take care of their health, to take care of their body because they're able to do so. So just because, you know, back then I wasn't necessarily, you know, I wouldn't say I wasn't mentally wealthy back then. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, you know, economically wealthy, definitely in college. But I think I also lacked that mental wealth as well because my actions weren't necessarily the actions of a wealthy person. And even though today, like, we don't have the necessarily assets that a wealthy person might have. But I feel like our mindset mm -hmm. and our vision is rich on rich on rich on wealth. Yeah. And so I think that's been able to shift my mindset tremendously for sure for mm -hmm. sure and i feel like the the economic struggles that we have gone through have even like made it so that's why we've included that as part of holistic health which mm -hmm. i feel like we don't normally i don't normally see as part of health mm -hmm. is money um but when you think about how much you may stress about money how many divorces yeah. come up from money um it really should be a part of a holistic approach to health yeah. um yeah so we have four pillars of health under true health forever and the mission of true health forever is to increase the holistic health of the african diaspora in america so when you look at all the health statistics life expectancy heart uh death or heart death heart disease, heart disease deaths, thank you health nerd appreciate you <laughs> uh, when you look at all of those health statistics diabetes. diabetes high blood pressure cancer deaths like we're at the top of the list at all of those. And then when you look at all of these statistics for wealth, we're at the bottom of the list. Home ownership, assets under management, uh, investing in real estate, investing in um, just stocks, period, mutual funds. So we're trying to make sure that by the end of our lifetime, hopefully hundreds of years from now, hey. shout out to longevity technology coming out soon, um, we're able to shift those numbers and shift the dynamic for the African diaspora within America. Mm -hmm. um, and that's obviously a huge and audacious vision. Yes. That is very hard. There's tons of people that have tried to do that and are currently doing that as well. So that's the importance of having a audacious vision is that makes it sure that there's always something for you to do. There's always more growth. There's always more jumping out the jar yeah. that you can do. If you're training yourself to jump on a 15 foot uh, basketball court, you know, if you're able to dunk on a 15 foot basketball court, when you go to a 10 foot regular basketball court, now it's easy. All right. All right. Okay. So train. Um, and I think that if you don't have people questioning or thinking you're crazy for mm -hmm. your goal, it's not big enough, mm. right? If if people if you don't if you don't have someone like really that's what you're trying to do, then you need to go bigger. Right. Um. So I feel like that's that's how you kind of can gauge it. it. And don't be don't be um like don't shy away from that. Don't let other people influence your goal. But that will that should gauge that should help you gauge if it's big enough or mm. not. Um. So yeah, if you tell somebody your goal and they're like that's that's impossible. Good luck, man. Um. Take that with a grain of salt. Be like, right. be like, ah, 
I've got the goal. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. That's the one. Um, yes. But yeah, that's how you know. Like again, it, it's and it's it's just people who aren't in that mindset, right? It's going to be those people who may, who may be like, oh, that's a little bit lofty, mm. um, but that's okay because that's it's your it's your vision, it's your dream, mm. and it's not theirs. So just take it, run with it. Yep, and find someone who's going to be like what she just said. Ooh. That's a good, that's a good yeah, one. That's good. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's what you want in your life. Um, so in addition to physical health, another pillar is economic health, as the queen touched on. And one of the things that we helped create for economic health for our community is Black Wall Street, the board game. So Black Wall Street, the board game built on the history of Tulsa's Black Wall Street. It is a board game where you can go around and invest and own real businesses that existed during 1898 to like 1921. And you have the opportunity to own those businesses, reinvest in those businesses, make them a LOC, a corporation, and make real money management decisions within the game. Um, so it's a real fun way, again, to increase your financial literacy for young kids to even adults have friends playing it. You can play with alcohol if that's your choice. <laughs> you know, there's some fun ways you can make it adultify. Um, but it's also a good family fun game to play as well. And realistic. Um, I think some other board games, they're not, you play them for fun. They're a fantasy world. Right. And then when you leave, you're not, you're not actually able to apply any of those, mm. any of those lessons or any of that vocabulary. Um, but we really tried to be intentional about making this as realistic to real life as possible so that you know, like, Oh, it, a business actually starts at a sole proprietor and then you invest in it and it becomes an LLC and then mm -hmm. you invest in it and it becomes a corporation. Like, that's real life. Mm -hmm. So if you can do that in the game, then you can do that in real life. Facts. Facts. Because life is just a big old game. It is. It's all it is. That's all it is. Um, so another thing about economic health, we're also doing Play Black Wall Street Academy, which starts this weekend. <laughs> launching and and to dive into the vision on that a little bit and uh, we're running out of time oh devons please stop over talking <laughs> uh, it's so stressful oh uh, so long-term vision and this is kind of parallel with true Health forever but it's also kind of a slight branch of the, the vision is the institute for melanated innovation mm -hmm. so just a place where people can go to learn specifically about black studies black research so just being able to take any type of, whether it's finances, chemical engineering like the queen did because she's a genius, whether it's computer science, sociology, anthropology, being able to take all of these interdisciplinary researches and make them through a black lens. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of my long-term visions. I got this chain on my neck right now and I've had it since 2017 or 18 that says Institute of Melanated Innovation right now. Even Investing. though... I'm nowhere near being able to, to make this a, a real, real reality, but I still got the chain manifest and it's always a reminder. So the fact that this weekend I'm launching my first class under the umbrella of Institute of Melanated Innovation. Boom. Manifesting. Manifest. And, you know, I, I really try not to cuss. It's, it's, it's almost there because <laughs> the energy and the excitement is just right there. Manifest. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, like, like, make a goal, however audacious it is, and make steps however you can to achieve that goal. Period. And I think, I feel like what people, if you haven't, if you've never, you, everybody has experienced this at some point, right? You, maybe you think about someone and then they call you. Or they text mm, you or whatever, yeah. right? So the idea <laughs> yeah. that everybody's experienced that or whatever it is. You think about something, you think about a check, and then it shows up in the mail. Whatever it is. Um, but the idea is that it's kind of the law of the universe, right? Whatever you put out into the universe, if you are committed to it, the mm. universe will bring that to you. You will start to see more signs for it. You'll start to meet more people who will bring you closer yeah. to your goal. Talk and it. your own activities Talk and your it. own actions will be that of a person who's trying to accomplish that goal. That's how it works. So, and we've both, we both. You look witnessed. so beautiful when you talk that talk. Oh, <laughs> queen. You make me want to marry you again. Hold up. Hold up. We both witness this firsthand when it's like one of us will, will have a goal or we'll both have the same goal. Mm -hmm. We have goals individually and together. And then we just start seeing things happen. We just start being up. This meeting he has at 7 o'clock is like, a, once, he, once mm. he got that Yeah, I, I, I can't even put that into the no. universe right now. I mean, I put it on the universe, but I can't put that into documentation right now. <laughs> but just know, y'all, man of confessed. Oh, my gosh. It's so crazy how I got into this meeting that's about to pop off soon. It's ridiculous because in that meeting... 
to be to be frank with y'all, I probably don't deserve to be in that meeting. False, but well, I'm the youngest person in that meeting by far. Everyone else has like 30 years of experience and I'm not even 30 years old yet. But somehow, by the grace of our ancestors in the universe, I've interacted with several elders that are in this meeting and they invited me, they know my, my work ethic, they know my vision, and they let me into this meeting where a lot of beautiful things can definitely happen. So, manif manifest! If you don't have a goal, come on, you better create one. Please create it. All and if, right. it, if it scares you to make a lofty goal, then make a little one. Once mm -hmm. you accomplish that, that confidence, that rush you feel, that'll, that'll, that'll help you, you know, build another one. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm rambling. No, you're all good, Queen. I appreciate that. Um, so we still have more to cover within True Up Forever, our full vision. But the thing is, I have a very important meeting in 10 minutes. And I like to prep a little bit for my meeting. I got to get situated. I got to get my water so I can talk. You know, I got to have my lighting right just in case they call on me and then I got to talk. I want to make sure I have a good impression. You feel me manifest. Um, so can we, I'm sorry, we're going to do a part two most likely to this. That way we can talk about social, spiritual, sure. and get a little bit more further in depth into other things that we're working on True Forever. But honestly, I think this was a very, you know, I'm, I'm biased because I was, <laughs> I was speaking here. and this is, you know, partially my podcast. <laughs> but it seemed like it was a very powerful podcast there's a lot of nuggets dropped by both of us brought by us at the same time mm -hmm. and so hopefully there is something in there that you can take away um so each of us are going to do a at least one takeaway that we really want you to have and take action upon after listening to this podcast um queen would you like to go first or do you need me to stall for you yep. stall got you um i don't want to take yours so i'm either going to say create a vision okay that's good Okay, I'm going to, you can come up with a different one? Sure. All right, cool. I'll talk for a few minutes. Now, obviously, after this podcast, please, I'm going to do two. Define your superpower. Ah. So figure out what it is that you are just excellent at, you are great at, that other people have difficulty doing, no matter what you think it is. It can be tying shoes. It can be an analytical thinker. It can be creating. It can be listening, talking to people, whatever naturally comes to you playing video games cooking literally anything making people laugh making people laugh literally making people cry making people cry i don't see that okay yeah that can work movies yeah Maybe. no that, I, I i felt you yeah, yeah it took me a second my bad yeah, sure. but i felt you afterwards um so figure out what your superpower is one two give it away for free in some form or fashion okay so one figure out what it is and then you have to figure out how you can bundle it up, transform it into a product or into a, a video service, a podcast, a YouTube channel, whatever it is, and start giving away that superhero content value for free. Boom. That is, that is my, my action. Queen. Um, I'm going to say create a... Similar. Just create two things. Yeah, I didn't say create a vision. Okay, so create oh. first create a goal. There you go. A goal that you want to reach in the next month. Make it really tangible. Um, so I want to, if it's a weight loss goal, whatever it is, I want to read this book. I want to get whatever this, I want to read this many pages. I want to write this, whatever it is. Mm. Um, create a goal within the month. And the reason I say that is because, again, accomplishing that goal will give you the confidence to know that you can mm. accomplish what you set to do, set mm. out to do. Um, and then I want you to also... Think about where you want to be 10 years from now. There we go. Talk to that talk. Um, so, I mean, in all aspects. So, and this is fun. Like, we, we did this a little so while ago. Fun. And it was fun. Like, down to the, we went to Realtor or whatever and started looking at, like, all these homes that we'd want to live in 12, 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. You've heard our lofty goals. So, these were very nice homes. And so, it was fun. Like, we're just like, <laughs> oh, now, I, would you live here? Would you? Oh, yeah. And then the basketball court could be here. And then the garden could be here. And then the pool. And then the kids can be playing. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's fun. So, really manifest what you you want your life to look like in 10 years so that you can start to get gain that momentum yep. to get there for the first step is visualizing it if you don't visualize it every single thing you see has been visualized talk by somebody that talk. Talk that talk. <laughs> everything you see has been visualized and manifested by somebody at some point during human history mm. all right and so the first step is to visualize it in your head first um so 
yeah, whether it's what car you want to drive, what house you want to be in, what job do you want to have, what business do you want to start, um, what family members do you want around you, whatever it is. Um, definitely what friends, what, what does your circle look like? What does your village look like? Um, just start creating that. Start really thinking about that. And if you haven't thought about that, um, then it, it's just a good place to start. You know, it's just, and it doesn't have to be super lofty if that's not what you want. It, it's whatever you want. If you want a nice, small, quaint, tiny home where you and your partner can live with your three dogs, like, <laughs> perfect. Then visualize it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, find, find a nice, tiny home that you like you know, design it out, whatever it is, have fun with it. I drew out a container home on, yeah. on a flight. Shout out to Javon. <laughs> yeah. Josie. Uh, um, on the way back from Europe, you know, up in December. So like, it, it can be fun. Uh, it should be fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's, those are my two things is one, start with a, a small attainable goal and then also create a big vision. Um, and that'll just kind of help you figure out where you want to go. Boom. Well done. This is a beautiful podcast to launch us into Black Future Month, which I propose in the book to be in June. So we're, we're going to act accordingly as if June is already Black Future Month. Hopefully you get the book or you can just act accordingly as well. Act as if you are creating Black Future Month and creating the positive, successful future for you and your folks. OK, so as usual, you know, thank you so much for tuning in to True All Forever podcast. We hope y'all stay healthy. We hope you stay mentally wealthy. Mm -hmm. And we hope you stay true. true. Peace, y'all. Yeah, great freaking episode. Was was, yeah, you was just <laughs> dropping the thing and I was just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it was good. Whoa, whoa. It was good. Let's get your bad. I think it actually worked out. <laughs>